Hello, my name is Dr Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your shoulders today, is that all right? Of course. Excellent. Can I just confirm your name and date of birth? It's Tom Rowling, 6th of the 4th, 1991. Thank you. And before we start, do you actually have any pain in, any, uh, in your shoulders at all at the minute? No. Excellent. Okay, if I can get you to stand up, please. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to have a look at your shoulders, if that's okay. So if I could get you to take your shirt off, please. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a look around your shoulders, looking for any problems that there may or may not be there. Okay, that seems fine. Now, if I could get you to step over here and just press your hands against a wall, pushing forwards for me, please. Sure. Okay, so having a look at your scapula at the back, that's all normal. You can come back for me. Okay, so I'm now just going to actually touch around across your shoulders, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Please tell me if there's any areas of pain or tenderness. Okay. okay. And just along the side there, and across the back. Okay, I'm just going to check for temperature. I'm going to do the same again from the side. Any areas of pain or tendons there? Not at all. Okay. Right, we're now just going to do some movements, if that's okay. So I'd like you to copy if possible. So if you could put your hands behind your, by your sides and then lift up to put your hands behind your head. Okay, thank you. And relax your hands back by your sides. Okay, uh, what I'd like to do is push your arms all the way forwards for me. Right. And then back as far as you can go. Thank you. Okay. If you could put your hands by your sides, and then, and then with both arms going up together, okay. and as high as you can go. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to do that once more. So, but I'll be standing at your back this time. So, so if you could move this arm up to the side for me, as high as you can. Excellent. Thank you. And do the same again with the opposite side. Brilliant. So what I'd then like you to try and do is move your hands up your back as high as you can go with one arm. Okay. So move your arm up your back. Okay. That's grand. And swap arms for me. As high up as you can. Okay. So they're the same. Brilliant. Um, if I can get you to put your arms at 90 degrees like so. And just rotate out for me. And then back in. Okay. That's grand. And if you relax your hands at the side. And then if I can get you to touch one, your right arm to your left shoulder and relax and similarly and then going round the back okay, thank you and the same with the opposite side okay that's grand and, and relax there so we're going to do the same movements now but I'm going to get you to try and resist some of my move, uh, some of the movements so if you could put your arms at 90 degrees again for me now try and try and turn out for me Okay, that's fine. And turn in for me. That's fine. If you put your hands by your sides and try and raise up for me. Okay, and push down. That's fine. And um, we're going to see if we can get you put your hand behind your back and I want to see you push away if possible. Okay, and then push away. That's fine. And rest, change arms. And then push away again. Okay, that looks fine. Thank you. Okay, the final thing that uh, we need you to do, if you can put your right arm out straight, okay, with your thumb up, and then just rotate it down. Okay, that's fine, and we'll swap and do it with the other arm. So if you put your arm up straight with your thumb up, and then rotate it down. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Um, so that concludes all of the things that we need for the shoulder examination. Have you got any questions at the moment? No. Okay, thank you.